This is where the machinery is housed, which, until a few years ago, powered the swing bridge at the entrance to the inner harbour in Douglas. Well, the story starts in here with this marvellous machine. It was originally run by Tan Gas. It was then converted to diesel, and in its latter years, it ran on electricity. Fortunately, it still works, so we can have a look at it in a moment. But when this was switched on, the power of this machine started to pump water into the giant accumulator in the tower next door. The flatbed engine quickly came up to speed as its piston started pumping water into the next part of the building. It's in here that there's a giant accumulator, a large metal silo which was packed with weights and which was gradually raised up by the hydraulic pressure from the pump. In its raised position, it was ready to provide a considerable force to turn the harbour bridge at a moment's notice. Accumulators like this were quite common, and the same principle is still used today on Tower Bridge in London. The energy was actually stored in the raised silo, and this meant that when the bridge needed opening, they didn't have to start the engines or bring anything up to speed. As long as the accumulator was ready, its power could be called upon instantly. Well, whoever was on Harbour Bridge duty after they'd come up the 62 steps of that spiral staircase went on up there to a small enclosed balcony and to one of the best views in Douglas. From their vantage point at the top of the tower, the duty operator had an excellent view of all the harbour and of any potential traffic, and of course, a direct view of the bridge below. The controls were relatively simple. These buttons operated hydraulic bolts that locked the bridge in position and released it again. There were other buttons for warning lights and hooters, and this was the lever that opened and closed the bridge. When the lever was pulled, the valves were opened and closed and great hydraulic rams, powered by the weight of the accumulator, moved up and down and pulled the chains which went underneath the road and turned the bridge. The whole mechanism was of course reversible and when the boats had passed through, corresponding valves were opened and closed and the bridge swung back again. <laughs> 